Howdy, Haas and Patty here. Well, today's schedule got pushed back, yes. We had to make a quick trip to the urgent care for poor little Miss Titi. Yeah, she woke up today with a bit of swelling on her cheek and we had to take her to the urgent care to get the abscess drained a little bit. And she's home now, she's doing okay. She was in here a little while ago, but she's back in the other room. Maybe she'll pop in later, I don't know, but wow. <laughs> you know how it is when you have to take your fur baby to urgent care, right? So I feel like I just need to sit back, relax, and maybe do a little hashtag gentle journaling. Yes, Janet Nash style, hashtag gentle journaling. When I actually have a prompt postcard from Janet with, let's see, five prompts on it today. Oh my, okay. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, I might get this started today. I don't know how far I'll get, but that's okay. I'm just here to spend a couple of moments of gentle journaling to end a very busy day. Come on along. This is one of Janet's handmade mixed media style postcards and it's it's got painty papers and stitching and doodling and maybe stamping and all kinds of things on here. I love this starry, starry night inside a bottle. Looks like some asemic writing in the background and a beautiful sticker there. Oh, and a little paw print in the corner. All right, the prompts are number one, scrapbook paper at the very bottom of the pile. Hmm. Number two, lace. Number three, flag. Number four, inks. And number five, what did you do today? Hmm, well, <laughs> scrapbook paper from the bottom of the pile. Hmm, lace. I'm going to have to gather these things up. A flag, inks, and what we did today. Wow, this is going to be a hard one. Hmm, all right, so I need to gather up some scrapbook paper. I grabbed the bag with the fairy scrap paper in it because this is the magical mushroom fairy house. And let me pull this out of here if I can. Oh, and there's more scraps in there if I need them. This is pretty. What's at the bottom of the pile? Well, at the bottom of the pile is actually Fairies, Pixies, and Elves sticker book. Hmm. That's not scrapbook paper, is it? No. Oh, look at these. Aw. Gathering berries. Here's the stickers. Now you're supposed to, oh, look at these, all gold foil. Put the stickers on the pages in the book. Snowy, hide and seek, rainy day, fairy ring. Okay, Janet, does this count as scrapbook paper? <laughs> oh, look at this garden. <gasps> that is beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at this. It'll fit on here, too. Well, this was at the bottom of the pile. What else is at the bottom of the pile? Oh, more fairies. Let's see. Oh, I think Rhonda sent me these, a Junk Journal Diva. Oh, these are gorgeous, too. Believe in fairies and you will always have a magical heart. Ah, oh, we should put that on the page. Maybe we'll do that for a page. <laughs> now here's actual scrapbook paper. I just want pretty things and a pair of fairy wings. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I know. And we have these gorgeous fairies here. These are all matchy matchy coordinated pages butterflies 
Well, I believe I'm going to really change this up a little bit, and I'm going to do a fairy page, the last page in my fairy journal, and I'm going to use this paper I found. I'm not sure what else I'm going to add to it. Maybe I will use the lace or the inks or something, but I'm not going to worry about it. I could put a little picture of Miss Titi at the emergency room today. Well, let's see how this goes. Okay. So after I do this page, I believe there's a couple of these little inserts I need to cover up and a couple of these netting pieces I need to do something with. I like the way this one came out with the flowers. I might do something like that again. Oh, I could put Miss Titi's picture here and do journaling. All right, so... Step number one, sometimes it's hard to get started if you've had, you know, a hard day. <laughs> so just sit down and take a deep breath and do something bright and bold and colorful, whatever catches your eye. Don't worry about how it's going to come out. Just relax and enjoy the process. And I'm going to trace this on here. I don't want it all the way to the edge though because I want some of this fabric to show. So, right about there. And yeah, have my pen. All right, now I just have to cut this out. I'll glue it down. I want to wish everybody have a wonderful weekend. And if you are celebrating, happy Mother's Day to everyone. I have a couple activities this weekend. Baby Possum is coming up. This is a page all by itself, isn't it? So I will have lots to journal about next week. I don't know how much I'll get done actually over the weekend with company coming. All right, I believe that's enough glue stick there. Oops, I lost my page. There it is. All right, got to stand up, see what I'm doing. Uh, I believe... That came out pretty good. I might have to trim a little bit around the edge. I just mentioned Mother's Day and it just popped into my head that maybe I want to do one of those little diamond painted cards and use it as a pocket in my spring journal. I love those cards. They're so pretty. Yeah, I might do that. I'll spend a couple of minutes relaxing and doing a little diamond painting with the card. And then I'll do a mom's day in my spring journal. I'll find a picture of my mom and I'll put that in there. And I think that'll be nice. I got a big blob of glue right there. And the stickers for page 10 are gold foil stickers. And that's so funny because for the prompt that says inks, I was thinking of using my uh, deco gold ink pen and putting some gold ink around there oh look here's a scrap here too you know that almost fits on there All right, i'm thinking about gluing this here and then trimming the card up and then maybe putting tt's pictures there Yes, I was just so worried about little Miss TT because she's so old. But right now she's doing okay. All right, let's see. Um, there's no way I'm going to cut this straight, so I'm not even going to try. So I'll just give it a, a wobbly look. <laughs> give it a wobbly look. And not worry about it. 
Hashtag give a scrap. <laughs> I'm trying to use the scraps and I just used a little bit of that page that was left for making this page. Oh, I guess this is this little corner over here. Now it's over here. Well, let me just print out a picture of Little Miss TT. Yes, I did take her picture while she was in urgent care. And it's on my phone, so I'm just going to use my little Canon Mini IV printer here. Here comes the picture. And that is it. Turn that off. And I have my picture. And she's going to go right there. Because that's what I did today. Okay, I'm just looking for a scrap out of my scrap bag. My hashtag, give a scrap scrap bag that I'm working on. And that's not quite big enough. Oh, but I do like that as a border with that blue there. Oh, yes, I do. Hmm, I might do that. All right, I'm going to work on that for a second. I think that yellow really makes that blue pop out. Now, TT doesn't travel in a cat carrier. No, she's a leash cat, like a dog. And she's got her little red leash there. And it's a little cool, breezy, sprinkled a little bit. So she's got her little blue sweater on. TT in urgent care. Wow, is today the 10th already? All right, now this has to get glued on. Oh, I made a mess on the desk. Oh, you know what? And this is funny because I'm doing the Janet Nash prompt. What did you do today? And that was take TT to urgent care as part of this journaling page. And at Janet Nash's live on Monday, yeah, we always have these conversations in the chat and we were conversing about cats. Yes, we were talking about cats. <laughs> it was so cute reading all the names of everyone's cats. Yes. And Janet said she'd put all the names in her kitty journal. I'm looking for something wide enough to cover this on the back. Something I could write on, like that. Of course, now I made this a weird shape, but that's okay. We can do it. So I'm going to trace this. And then glue that on the back. See, and I can write on the yellow. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking now of the other prompts. What if I took a piece of lace? Because one of the prompts is lace. Well, number one was scrapbook paper at the very bottom of the pile. And at the bottom of the pile was actually... <laughs> number one was scrapbook paper at the very bottom of the pile. And actually, when I grabbed the pile of scrapbook paper at the bottom was this fairy book. So I used that. And then number two is the lace, so I can put that over there. Number four, we're going to do gold ink. And number five, what did you do today? That was Miss TT. So maybe the only one I won't get done today would, would be the flag. Hmm. All right. That might be the only one that doesn't get done today. Okay, so now I need to go to the box of lace and find something I could put there before I glue these two together. Well, something like this that's flat at the edge might work really well. Yes. Oh, you know what? Wow. This is almost the same color as this netting. I think I'm going to use this one. <laughs> I think I'm going to use that one. Yes. OK. Decision made. You know, sometimes when you're tired, it's hard to make a decision, I know. That's okay. Whatever I use will be fine. All right, I think for this, I'm going to grab some tacky glue. 
Yes, I'm going to use tacky glue for this. Grab an old gift card, spread it around, and then I'm going to put the lace right like that. And then I'm going to put some more glue, just a little bit on top of the lace. And then I'm going to put them together as best I could. All right, I'm going to press this down for a few moments. I did my journaling on the back. I left some space here. And I just said, you know, that she went to urgent care today, what the doctor did. And I think maybe tomorrow I'll do an update down here. I'll put May 11th and do a little update there. But I have the lace in her picture. That's what we did today. Hopefully this paper will stay down. <laughs> Stay down, stay down. Now I just have to finish this up. I'm going to put a couple of gold foil fairies on there. And then put some gold ink. And my gentle journaling will be done. I don't have a whole lot of room, but I can save some of them for the other side. I like this one with the purple. And I'm going to put her over here by this purple alum, maybe, like that. Ooh, can we put one over here? I didn't leave much room. These butterflies are really large. <laughs> There's a yellow one. Let's see if it fits. Oh, we could put it up here. Or not. <laughs> oh, I want to get a butterfly on here. Here we go. Well, I didn't plan that, but we got one on there. And we got one fairy, and there's one fairy there. I could put one down on this flower here. Here's a little guy down here, and he's sitting. So we can put him on this flower here. He's all sparkly. And then maybe one up here. Or we could put a butterfly. We could have three fairies and a butterfly. Put this pretty sparkly purple butterfly. We'll just pop it down right there. Now I have to find my gold pen. This is Deco Premium. It's gold. And it's by Marvy, Marvy Markers. He's adding some pretty gold around the edge. Trying to make a little bit of a wavy line here. You can put some on, you know, on the side like this too. Should I come down this way? You can do that. You can do anything you want to. All right, back to this side. Oh, I went, <laughs> I went way far in over there, didn't I? Well, we'll just do that in some more places. If you make a mistake, then you just make it look like it was done on purpose. Yes, I meant to do that. It does have a little bit of an odor to it. I advise using it in a well-ventilated area. I just don't want it to look like a straight line. So wherever it looks straight, I'm kind of trying to make it look wavy. Yeah, make it look wavy. I could go across the top of here like that. Well, there you have it, a very relaxing, easy sticker page and tiny bit of journaling what we did today with the addition of some lace and some gold ink. I still have the postcard. Now, I might put the postcard in this journal, which I also did some Janet Nash prompts in. Not this one. <laughs> 
I think at the beginning, yes. And I have this envelope here. And I'm going to put this card in here for now because I might use that again to do another page. So this is just a journal for some journal prompts. And this was something back from 2020. Oh, and these are my really fun flowers. And this was a journal prompt page. Yeah, so just some mixed media different things in here. Well, today was quite a day. But I'm relaxed now. Yes, I came in, had a little bit of a play, did a very easy page with a book page background and a couple of stickers and added some gold ink around the edge. And that was it. Perfect. And I did this little tiny page about poor little tiny Miss Titi. She's got some lace there and some journaling on the back. But this is so bright and colorful. And it is... The black cat chickadee <laughs> o'clock. And that's right across from this beautiful garden with the little fairy in it. Well, there's only a few tiny little touches that I have to do to finish this up. And I'll come back and share it with you and show you how I finished it up. And it'll be, ta-da, <laughs> another journal finished. Yay. Not quite. I'll work on it. And that'll be next. And I'm sure the number one rule for gentle journaling is don't worry about the mess. I'll come back tomorrow and take care of the mess. But today, I just want to thank you for coming along and happy junk journaling. Bye-bye.